When we first came to Santa Maria Orphanage in Colón, Mexico, it was evident there were some major issues. They didn't have a very large agriculture development. They were really needing to resource a lot of money and a lot of time to really not get a whole lot in return because it was all manual labor. But now that we've been here and we can see how the work has paid off, it's really been amazing to be part of it. One, two, three. EWB! Engineers Without Borders is just a surreal experience. Before we built irrigation systems, they were manually grabbing the hoses and, and taking them, charging them everywhere, just wasting a lot of time. So we built an irrigation system to make it a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. Here's the recap of what we just counted. We have eight sprinklers, and then on the first line we have a splice between seven and eight. One of the things I'm very grateful is Carroll College and Engineers Without Borders and I was talking to our people that work at Santa Maria, and they said, we have at least 100% more yield. We're spending less money on buying feed for the cows, which the cows give us meat, as well as the milk, the cheese, and the yogurt that we've been getting. And that's all because of the, the great people that come to us from Carroll College. We are here because they matter. These kids come from very harsh backgrounds, so the fact that we're here and the fact that we're working with the kids here, that means so much to them, and it, they give us a million graces in return. They create bonds, even to the fact that when Carroll College leaves, uh, some of the children cry, they say, don't leave, we want you to stay here. While we are serving the community, we're also serving our students. An interesting kind of misconception of EWB is that we're all engineers. I think over 50% are non-engineer majors. We need the people here to translate, to bring all the diverse expertise that they have, whether it's in nursing or whether it's communicating. I recognize what a unique place Carroll is and how unique our students are. And it's very important to me that we are continuing to develop them as leaders who understand social justice principles and have real world experiences because I really do think that we're in the business of developing saints at Carroll. I know that by us being here, we're continuing to develop a relationship and a program that will serve students and serve our world for years to come.